What's up guys, it's Kossum with Digital Gladiator back again with a informational video for you all. So today we're going to be talking about citations and what those are and how to get them, where to go, all that fun stuff, what's the use of them. So essentially citations are listings of where your, your website's name or your business's name, address, phone number is on the um, citation website. For example, Yelp is a website where you can get a citation on there, a structured citation. And unstructured citations, like you just have the name, address, and phone number, um, whereas the structured is gonna have like the name, address, phone number, contact info, like owner's name, email, like all that stuff is gonna be on there. Um, and then extra information, whatever that may be, right? So um, going here, I wanna sh show you real quickly. Let's look for a roofer in Chicago. I'm from Chicago, so why not? Um, let's see, we see Lindholm Roofing. Um, so we have Lindholm Roofing. Let's search them real quick. Lindholm Roofing. And then when we search them, you're going to see that Yelp shows up there, their BBB, all citations right there. Angie's List, Yellow Pages, right? So let's go on to their Yelp. Ooh, their rating's kind of bad there. Oops. <laughs> but um, anyway, not the biggest fan of Yelp. But anyway, um, so you can see that's their name right there. They've claimed this. You want to make sure if, with clients that you get, you want to make sure you claim all their citations. I'll get into that more in a minute. Um, and then you can see you know, their address, their phone number, they have their website also. Um, unstructured citations only have, <coughs> excuse me, only have like their name, address, and their phone number. While these, this is a structured citation, it has everything. You can get directions to it. It has images, all that fun stuff. Um, and you can see, obviously, with Yelp and even like BBB, Yellow Pages, you're going to find reviews as well. Um, so you can see it also has their, their hours here. You want to make sure with all the clients that you get when you're doing their citations, especially with citations like Yelp, uh, etc., the structured ones, you want to make sure all the information is correct and you don't have information like you don't have the addresses wrong you don't want you don't want to have like the number wrong obviously the website name all, all obviously all of those stuff is wanting you want that to be the same throughout all the citations and the point of citations are this you google likes to see they like to see that a website has information online other than its own website and other than some backlinks right because a real business is going to have listings on Yelp, listings on BBB, Angie's List, all those big sites, because that's a way for kind of Google to see that, all right, this this is a legitimate business. It's listed on Yelp. It has reviews on Yelp, right? So once you have all those, it's just, it just, it's just one of the pieces to the pie. It's kind of like all those like 1% factors. You get citations, that's a piece of the cake. You get backlinks, piece of the cake. Um, you get your on-page SEO optimized, you know, all that stuff adds up and citations are just part of that. So um, you want to make sure you have all those and a way to way to find out um, where your like what you're if you say you're bringing on a client, right? And you want to find out what citations they have, what they don't have, then you can there are a few options for you. So you can check out Moz Local. I haven't used them before, but I've heard some good things. Um, I've heard sometimes the pricing is a little high. I'm not sure. Um, actually that might be another one, but anyway, not used them before, but I have heard good things. Um, so I can say that, you know, the, they're reputable in this space. So you can try them out for yourself. They're pretty cheap. I mean, it's not like a huge purchase. You can get them for less than $9 a month per location apparently. So, and they're more automated. You can like, you know, they push your listings to all the major data aggregators, all that good stuff. And then you can also do white spark. .ca, which I've actually used and I do like them. Um, I, I use them for the local citation finder. They're really solid at getting you a list that you can export as a CSV and then you can you know give that to either your VA or have a service which I'll show you in a minute a service that I recommend but you can also you know sh send that out quickly build it it's like a it's like a monthly fee I believe really really low and I do recommend them for lo local citation finders. Um, they do have other services. I haven't tried those out. I'm sure their citation building's fine. Not sure how it is though, because I use another service. So I'll show you that in a second. So, yeah, definitely recommend them for this. Um, again, you can use Moz Local 
not sure if they have that that data um, finding citations I haven't used them you can just take a look read this stuff if you want but anyway moving on to marketer center so these guys they have some solid services I use them for my citation building so what I use them for is they have a bunch of services here hyper local citations these are just you know local business citations in your area so every area you go to like if for example Chicago is gonna have different local citations that are local to the Chicago area than New York for example or LA or you know Denver right so those are really important citations to rank within your cities if you're trying to rank for Denver roofer Denver plumber you're gonna to want to get those hyper local citations and um, citations if you don't know are huge I wouldn't say as huge but they are important for ranking in the map pack the three pack okay so definitely would recommend those if you want to rank on the three pack and then also the authority citations these are a must um, to get those authority citations like I'm talking Yelp you know BBB Angie's list all those solid solid um, you know big authority sites and um, then looking at you know, they have rich media citations pretty interesting service here I haven't tried this out yet um, but they have a three-in-one service that delivers custom video local link building and citations on rich media video image and audio sites that's interesting you know just uh, getting citations out there the name address phone number on those types of sites um, and they have a citation cleanup which I've used for a couple of clients where they had you know before they brought me on they had some mess up citations and they did a really solid service with this you know they actually what they did for me at least and what they i'm pretty sure they're going to do for everyone is they email all these companies and you know get the um even if there's not they're not as big of a company that has has the incorrect citations they email them and try to get in contact to fix that so i really do like how they they kind of go above and beyond to get those citations fixed and then they also do the website local citation and website audit like white spark does I like white spark because it's like more automated and um you, you can just get a list like pretty much instantly so i'm going to be real with you guys that's what i prefer there i like you know these are all options so you can use whatever you want but again my recommendation if you care about that at all is local citation finder for white spark so you can just input the data um, i'll actually click on this right now and show you um what what they say about it and how you some screenshots and whatnot so what you can see is you can try for free actually right there but look you can you can search up you know the keywords you can put in your um information and you can discover citation op citation opportunities right there you get a list export that as a csv and then you can send that over you can send that over to marketer center and say hey i want to you know Get citations on these sites blah, blah blah and if you have like a citation cleanup service you can find your citations off through white spark that are messed up and you can send it to them and say hey like these these citations are messed up can you fix them um but again you know marketer center they do that service as well so if you just want to get everything from them that's fine right and i did get hooked up i talked to andrew who's the owner of marketer center and he hooked us up with a five percent discount code on a, on whatever order you get with marketer center the code is DG5, pretty simple, just DG5. I'll put that in the description so you don't forget about it. But yeah, I do recommend them. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Citations, very important. You want to get them. Make sure that, you know, whatever, whatever client you, you get, you want to do a citation audit and get them citations. You can do like, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing all the citations at one time because that is a little unnatural. I recommend doing a certain amount per month, maybe 10, 15, 20, depends on the competition. But uh, if it's like a small, com not, not that competitive at all, you know, small town, then maybe do 10, 15 a month, 20 a month, not a big issue. But if it's like a, a lawyer in a big city, a really big competitive niche, then you can do like maybe 30, 40, 50 a month, you know, not a big deal. As long as you're not doing like 100 in one day, not a huge deal, right? So would definitely recommend that for affiliate sites as well if you're someone in the affiliate niche then citations are great to kind of you know diversify your anchor text um and they're great for that either way but they're good for that for affiliate sites and also just kind of increasing the trust with google um which i believe it does so anyway hope you enjoyed it please leave a like on the video if you care for me at all in any way physically or emotionally <laughs> but anyway guys hope you liked it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already join our facebook group we're about to hit 500 
uh, 500 members in the Facebook group, and it's growing awesomely, if that's even a word, awesomely. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll stop rambling now. Thanks. Have a, have a good day slash night.